Welcome back to Crypto Games for another video. I'm coming up close and personal. I'm sorry for any of the wind that you might hear. How to find the best cryptocurrencies to invest in. If it's that interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. I am still here in the Spanish islands, touring the islands. It's amazing. I'm staying in some stunning places. And honestly, it's because crypto made it possible. So yeah, I want to talk about how to find the best cryptocurrencies if you're new to crypto you probably stumbled across this video because you want to know the best cryptos to invest in let's go for a little walk as i talk and by the way this is not financial advice i want to just kind of give my my turn on and twist on the whole you know making money in crypto what the best coins to find uh, are my little boy was in there not too long ago um it's a powerful subject, it's a powerful topic to talk about because when people when people hear about others in the crypto space, you hear that, oh, they made loads of money. And you think it's like a get rich quick thing. And it's really not. And I've heard other influencers talk on this subject. You know, the whole, you know, what crypto is the best to invest in and stuff. And everybody's gonna have their own opinion. I'm not gonna say anyone's right. I'm not gonna say anyone's wrong. Uh, see this says research, do your further research kind of thing because everyone's going to give you different information. Hopefully I can give it to you as easy and as clean as possible so that when you leave this video you have a clean understanding of you know which the best cryptos are to invest in. And it all comes down to what is your, what's, what is it that you're trying to achieve? Like are you happy, like, if, like I said if you're new to this crypto space Will you be happy if the money that you put in just does 5x or 10x? And when I say 5x or 10x, because that's new lingo to people that don't understand, that's like five times your money back or 10 times your money back. Would you be happy with that? Because if you're happy with that, then you could just stick with the top cryptocurrencies, meaning blue chip cryptocurrencies. These are coins that have billions of dollars in it. So like I said, I've seen influencers that say that you should, you know, stick to projects that have at least a billion dollars. But my problem with that is it doesn't give you much room to, for growth. It doesn't give you much room to make massive multipliers on the money that you invest. So it's important that I tackle all the strong, important parts to this subject so that when you when you do finally dive deep into crypto, or if you're here, you know, this is a, a powerful experiment video for you as well, you know exactly what it is that you're looking for. Because on my channel, check this view real quick. On my channel, I look for projects that can do 100x. That's 100 times my money. That's taking, I don't know, $1,000 and turning it into $100,000. And I've done it multiple times. If you watch the channel, you know, right? You've seen it, you know. And these are the kind of growths that I'm looking for. So when I say to you that, uh, if you're, it, it depends on the type of returns that you're wanting. This is exactly what I mean. I, if you're someone that wants a safe play, then you invest in these safer projects that already have a billion dollars that are already established and everything else. And some could be good. Some probably could go on to do it more than a 10X. But for me, I don't think it's likely. Why? Because there's more competition in this space. So that's the first thing, understanding what it is that you're, what kind of returns you're looking to get. Once you understand the returns, then it's important to look at the market caps of cryptocurrencies. You see, many people look at the price. You come into this crypto space as a new investor, you're hearing people say this coin and that coin and this coin, and then you look at the price. Some people get put off by the price. Some people look at it and go, actually, you know what? I'm not sure about this because the price is like X amount. Maybe it's like $2 a coin or $14 a coin. And then you look at some other coins and you say, oh, actually, that coin's cheaper, so I might buy that instead. I'm trying to get out of the wind here. So let me just walk back this way. So I want to make sure that you understand that it's, it really is about the market cap. The, the, the size of the market cap that you're getting in on and for me I like to look for low cap market cap cryptos 
because it gives you a chance to have or to experience the full growth, the full explosion in cryptocurrency when it finally takes off. Billion dollar cryptocurrencies have already done it. So it's like, yeah, you're putting your money in hopes of like a little 5X, 10X, like I said, 10 times your money, but that's not gonna be life changing. You, you've probably come to this crypto space because someone that you know has made you has made loads of money in crypto and you want to experience that. You want to know that when you put like your two to three hundred dollars or your five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars over time, you want to know that it's possible to turn it into millions of dollars. So for me, the only way to do that is to is to get into lower cap cryptocurrencies. So market cap is important, please do not pay attention to the price of the cryptocurrency. Look at the market caps that you're getting in. And if you feel like you can handle a bit more risk tolerance, then maybe you should consider looking lower down, maybe at coins that maybe under 500 million market cap, maybe under 200 million, maybe under 100 million. Because then, yes, it's higher risk, but then you won't have to put as much money uh, when, it, when it comes to investing in these coins. And then, you know, you can see that bigger growth. There's lots to talk about. Tokenomics is important to understand where to buy them. You can use websites like CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap. You can search on the name of a coin. Then obviously you can find it. And then you can look at the markets tab. It shows markets and you can see where to buy the coins on which exchanges. So what are the best coins? How do you find them? Joining powerful networks is another thing. So I run a, a, a Patreon account, and in my Patreon, I've got smart investors in this group. I've got millionaires in this group, and it's not even a joke, right? And they're probably all living their lives as well, like this. And it basically is just a friendly, powerful network that helps people get a leg up on this market. So you get to see a lot of things before they come out, because people are talking about them, sharing them all the time. And I think it's important for you to have a powerful network. The best cryptos will be the ones that have the best development and the best community. What do I mean? Well, let's just go back to the start, right? When Bitcoin came about, because when Bitcoin was launched, everybody felt like you had to be in a coin that had a strong use case. Because if it didn't have a use case to the real world, or if it didn't have some form of, some form of a good use case, then it was a bad investment. But today has changed and it's not like how it used to be back in 2010, 2011 when Bitcoin first came out and Ethereum came out because back then it was like, oh, which one has the best transactions? Which one's faster? Yes, yeah, Solana blew up because of that. It was faster, but it also had development. People started to develop and build on top of Solana, which is why it gave it that growth. Meme coins started to blow up, which gave Solana that massive growth. To where it is now so when i say about development you want to find projects that are going to continue to, to develop even if the prices fall down even if the market crashes and these are the coins that i've been sharing and it's not about use case anymore in 2024 it does not matter if a coin has a use case or not and if the meme space has not shown you that then i don't know what else to say because one thing that i've learned in the last two years especially in this last year of memes being the best performing asset class is that you need no use case whatsoever for, for, for cryptocurrencies. It doesn't matter what the cryptocurrency can do. If it has a picture and it looks fun and people like it and they find it entertaining, they're going to buy it. And this is what you saw with Pepe. This is what you saw with Bonk. This is what you saw with Dog with Hat. This is what you saw with many of the meme coins that I've shared along my journey. DiCaprio cheers, success kid did it. You've got a few others that done 20, 30, 40, 50, 100x, 1000x. It's insane, I know it sounds crazy, right? But this is what I'm saying. No use case whatsoever. Even in the last cycle, Dogecoin had no use case. Ship it in, you had no use case. Flocky had no use case. And this is why people have favored memes because it does, it, make, it actually feels like you can get rich quick. But with that, it does hold a level of extreme risk because they are the most risky asset class of them all. You are literally, you, when you put your money in, you have to be prepared to lose it all. If you're not prepared to lose it all, then 
you're just you're, you're gambling and that, that's and you know memes are uh, the toughest types of investments how do you find the best cryptocurrencies to invest in look at what big influencers are sharing if you come across whether it's and a, a, a few things that they talk about influencers will share projects that they feel can do good if they talk about them often it's because they actually think that they can really think it can do good if they show you proof that they're investing in it then you know it's, it's quite certain that these coins are going to do extremely well because the and the more influencers meaning youtube TikTok, twitter instagram whatever they are the more influencers that get involved with these projects the more confident other investors will feel and it's not just influencers projects have to have strong holders as well when you click on a coin on coin gecko or coin market cap you can see on on the info section it shows the contract address and it shows which uh, blockchain it's on so in most cases you may come let's just use memes for example you may come across a meme coin and then you will see that it's on the ethereum chain or it's on the solana chain and you can click the blockchain the, the scan it's called eth scan or soul scan you can click it and once you click it you can then click on a, a tab that says holders it's really important to see how much holders there are in a project or just to see if there's growth in the holders if you come across a, a project that's got a couple of holders, maybe 100 holders, 500 holders, then you're very early to a project. Because in most cases, the most successful project, uh, project has tens of thousands of holders, 20,000, 40,000. Between 20 to 40,000, you're seeing successful projects because people are holding it. They don't want to sell it, they're holding it. And that's what this is all about. It's about finding these projects, getting in early, understanding what the project is, is it developing, you can use their social medias like Twitter, which is very popular, to see how a project's developing, to see if it's gonna be doing well, to see if they're gonna constantly post and things like that. I've said this before on other videos, I'm gonna say it again. Narratives play an important role. It's really important that you understand the crypto narratives because some people don't. Some people come in, they hear, they hear someone say the word, oh, XRP, and they buy it. And if it doesn't move for a year, they're like, oh, crypto is a scam or oh, crypto is rubbish or this person's a, a scam or no no it's about understanding what narrative is hot right now and that's the hardest thing as well to try and try and catch the narrative quick is really hard I and mean, this is why you have to have a powerful network again you, it's up to you who you want to join I mean just watching you know YouTube channels and subscribing to YouTube uh, creators that itself is 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 a network so if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can. It helps you be part of a network. You're going to obviously see when, you know, coins are coming out, I share a lot. But when you start going into those private networks, it's the private networks that get you in mega early. You're, you're super alerted. Whether it's mine or someone else's, you want to find a strong, powerful private network that can show you these coins way before everyone else. Because you have to remember, in order to make, uh, to make money in crypto, you have to get in early. You have to be the first ones to get in. The people that are rich to, today on Bitcoin is because they got in on flipping in 2010, 20, 2011. Where did you get in? Sorry, the wind is mad, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to fight this wind, where I am. And I'll take a little walk down there and just see what it's saying. Where did you get in in, in crypto? Can I walk this way? I have to walk into the water just to get there. It's all good. It's like a little path where I just gotta walk into the water just to get there. But it's all good. Narratives are an extreme important part in crypto. And this is where people fail the most because they don't understand the narratives. They don't understand the trends. Just by, by joining powerful networks, you can, you know, you can understand trends. Or you can see the trends. Just walking now. So um, there's so much more to this subject that I want to talk about and, and I really want to try and cover it all but it's important that if you're new in crypto or if you're someone that's been here it's not just about what's the best coin, what's the, what's the best coin 
all these other little things have to be taken into consideration like the market cap like the holders like the development do they even have a community that's going to keep hyping up and pushing it and this is why influence us uh, i suppose have become an important role in crypto because uh, it's the influencers that keep trying to share helpful projects well you know if they're like me they try to share projects some are hit some are misses you know we can't if we, i always say this i wish i was the developer of all the coins i share because then i just wouldn't dump any of them i just keep them all like that everybody has a fair chance which is why I created uh, Memes Make It Possible, right? MMIP, it's a meme coin, which is the most fair launched one. I put $10, that's it. I didn't want to take up loads of the supply. I didn't want to have loads of it and dump it on the audience and dump it on everyone. I wanted to keep it fair. I wanted you guys to have an opportunity to get in early on projects where it's just fair. So if you want to grab some of that, you can just search Memes Make It Possible. MMIP is the ticker. You can go onto Dex Tools or something like that and find it. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I've covered most of the most important things on how to find the best cryptocurrencies. I can easily sit here and name names. I can tell you this coin and this coin and that coin, but there's more to it. There really is more to it. And I'm hoping that I haven't missed anything. I think I have. I think I missed a few things. But, but the people that uh, come into crypto are hoping they're gonna get rich quick. You have to remember there's people that have been here for years and if you're watching this channel still for like one or two years you know you, you've been here you've been here so you've been here to experience the downfalls and you've been here to experience that actually yeah crypto is going up but <laughs> it took a while for it to get here so drop your comments down below was this helpful to you in any shape or form if you want me to give you uh, a few coins that I recommend that are the best cryptos to invest in, I can do that. Matter of fact, I've already done it. If you're new to the channel, if you're someone that's here and you haven't paid attention yet, <coughs> check out my millionaire portfolio builds. I'm telling you now, the millionaire portfolio builds is a powerful, powerful thing because I'm showing you projects of at all, all angles, all narratives, all angles, where you can choose which ones you want to invest in. And you can decide the risk levels that you want to take. If you want to play it safe, you can go for the ones that have the potential to do 50X. If you want to take a bit more risk to try and make more money, you can choose the ones that can potentially 500X your money or 1,000X your money. It's all in there. Now, when you go on my channel, my YouTube channel, you can scroll, before you click on anything else, you can scroll down, you can see the entire mini, uh, mini series that I've uploaded you can see the, uh, the projects the, the episodes go check them out see the projects in all the videos and I think that's a good start yeah I'm gonna give you uh, just off the top of my head one AI coin that you should grab one meme coin you should grab maybe one gaming coin and then you decide you're gonna go after that right so my AI pick for this video is gonna be neural AI ticker symbol is it just neural n-e-u-r-n-e-u-r-a-l neural AI. Look it up on CoinGecko. That's a, that's got that's going to be a big mover in the AI space, right? I'm telling you now, and I'll put big money because I know where it's going to go. That's your AI pick, your meme pick. I'm going to go with uh, Donald Trump because it's the first Trump coin that's uh, crowned the name Donald Trump. I think it's going to be a big mover. Again, sorry for the wind. Don't underestimate it, guys telling you the best coins <laughs> and for gaming hmm I'm gonna go with gamey g-a-m-e-e -E, ticker symbol g-m-e-e -E. three coins that could probably change your lives but it's up to you to you know decide what you want to do you can buy gamey on mexi if you want you can buy neural AI on uniswap learn about metamask go on YouTube and learn that you can buy, what was the last one I said? Uh, the mean one, you can buy Donald Trump on Phantom, uh, oh sorry, on the uh, uh, <laughs> Radium, using your Phantom wallet. So those are my free picks that can just, you know, for people that are here, or if you're, you've been in crypto for a while and you're still looking for the best coins, that's gonna give you a little jump start. Yeah? I'm gonna leave it here. If it was helpful, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Pay attention to the market. It's not all about blue chips. Don't be afraid to take some risks.
because high risk can sometimes equal high reward and everybody can be blessed in this space if you know what you're doing. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Enjoy the time with your loved ones. Life's short. Please enjoy your life with the people that you care about and the people that care about you. And I'll see you in the next video. Fly. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,